This is the June 09 exam. We're on page 10. And this is the beginning of part C. These are the hard questions. So let's see. Questions 60 and uh, 61 and 62 refer to this picture. It's a stunt car driven horizontally off a cliff. And it's represented in the diagram. After leaving the cliff, the car falls freely to a point A in 0.5 seconds. 0.5 seconds. And it reaches point B in one second. So between A and B is a half second. All right. So question one. Determine the magnitude of the horizontal component of the velocity of the car at point B for one point. So they don't want to see any work, they just want to see it done. Well, the thing you need to remember is the horizontal velocity, velocity in the x-axis, is uh, going to be a constant. As it falls, that velocity will not change, especially because they reduced air friction to nothing, no frictional effects. And the velocity in the y-direction is initially, velocity initial, is going to be zero meters per second. So that'll be useful later on. So from A to B, it travels a distance of, uh, let's see, from 8 meters to 16 meters. So that's a distance of 8 meters. And it does so in a time of half a second. So velocity is, uh, average velocity is going to be distance over time, 8 meters divided by 0.5 seconds gives us a velocity of 16 meters per second in the horizontal direction. And so we place that uh, right here for a single point, 16 meters per second. Question two. Determine the magnitude of the vertical velocity of the car at point A. So how fast is it going at the end of half a second? Well, it's going to be uh, a little bit trickier. The distance traveled and velocity. Oh, wait a minute. This is easier. This is, they just want velocity. Okay, well, the velocity is uh, going to be acceleration times time. So the change in velocity is acceleration times time. And the acceleration is going to be a result of gravity. So it's going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. And the time is going to be half a second. So it's falling. We could just look over here if we want to. It falls for half a second. How fast is it going? Well, it's going to be uh, 9.8 meters per second squared times 0.5 seconds. So it's going to be half of 9.8. So its velocity at point 8 will be 4.9 meters per second. Determine the magnitude of the vertical velocity of the car at point A. Falls for half a second, 4.9. So 4.9 meters per second. All right, now the tough one. They want to know this distance here. How far will it fall between a half second and a whole second? And there's a lot of techniques for doing that, but I'm going to use this technique. I'm going to say that the initial velocity downwards is zero. I'm going to find the distance it falls in a half second. And so I've got the equation, distance traveled is VIT plus one-half AT squared. That's from my formula sheet. Velocity initial is zero, so I get rid of it. Distance it travels is equal to one-half GT squared. Remember the acceleration due to gravity is there, so let's go ahead and list that as a known. 9.8 meters per second squared. And so I'm going to say the distance is equal to one-half of 9.8 meters per second squared times 0.5 seconds squared. And so the distance at uh, point A is going to equal to that. I get out my calculator and when I plug in 
I come up with a distance of 1.225 meters. And that's the distance at point A. I'm going to use the exact same technique, except I'm going to find the distance at point B. So my initial velocity is zero. I'm looking for the distance. So now my time is equal to one second. The acceleration of gravity is still the same, 9.8 meters per second squared. My distance is equal to VIT plus one half AT squared. My distance is equal to, that's zero, so one half gt squared. My distance is equal to one half of 9.8 meters per second squared times one second squared. So the distance at point B is going to be half of 9.8. And second squared and second squared cancel out. So it should be 4.9 meters. We're not done yet. And so my difference in distances, the distance that it fell between those two points, this here, is going to be wherever this is minus whatever that is. So this should be easy. So uh, distance y is going to be 4.9 meters minus 1.225 meters. So distance y should be equal to 3.675 meters. Make sure they know how oh, they'll find it. There it is. Uh, let me check. I found the distance to A, distance to B. They're asking for the difference in those two distances. And that's right there. Okay, got that one done.